Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the update video to get quick and easy film orders inside of Resolve. Let's get to it. Last year, I dropped the film border pack. There was only six film borders when I originally dropped it. Today, one year later, there is now 26 borders in that pack. The price is the same. We are now on the best selling list on Gumroad and the reviews are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the people that leave reviews. Okay, in this video, we're gonna get into what's new in the film border pack and then we're gonna show how to use them. Let's get into it. We now have four aspect ratios, 1920 by 1080, 1650 by 1080, 1440 by 1080, and then we have vertical 1080 by 1920. Okay, let's get inside of DaVinci Resolve and see how this works. First off, let's drag the film borders in. So I already have my film borders in here, but for the sake of the video, I wanna show you how you would bring the files in. It's very simple. Let's make a new bin. Right click new bin, bin film orders two. We're gonna click that bin, go over to wherever you have the files. You see that everything is in its own folder. I like to just grab these right here and then drag them in. And just like that, they're ready to use. All right, let's pick one. This is a four by three, 1440 by 1080. So we go over to the 1440s by 1080 and we just choose one. The best way to see them is just click them, drag them in, and then you can see which one you like. Which one works best for this video? Let's see, that one's pretty good for this video. Oh, I like that one. I'm a sucker for the thin border, especially for Instagram. Okay, let's choose one. I like this one. So I'm gonna delete the rest of them. And then it's easy as pie. You just set it up, put it where you want it to start, drag it to the end, just like that. Okay, let's very quickly go through all the different styles of the film borders. So here we are in a 1920 by 1080 and we have the thin border. Now we have our classic four by three black bars on the side. I like to call this one TV tube because it looks like a TV. Here's our four by three with rounded corners inside of our 16 by nine. And we have this sort of indented four by three black square border. We have one new border in each of the aspect ratios, but I'm not gonna show you guys that just yet. Let's wait till we get to four by three. Okay, let's move on. This is 1650 by 1080. So again, we have a four by three within a 1650 by 1080 black bars. The rounded corners, thin border on the edges, TV tube, and then the surprise one. Okay, here is our 1440 by 1080. We have our thin border here, our TV tube. This is more like a framed black border. And here we have a rounded corner black border. Okay, now we're in vertical. The thing about vertical is that I have tested these once you post them on Instagram Reels and you're viewing them from the perspective that you're inside of Reels. If you have not noticed, if you post, there is a difference between posting it and viewing it on a feed or actually being in the Instagram Reel feature and viewing it there. The difference is that it slightly zooms in a little bit. So if we were to post this on our feed, you would see that it looks exactly like this, but once you click Instagram Reels, it punches in on the sides just a little bit. So that has been accounted for. And here we have a nice rounded corner. Here we have vertical tall. The way this is cut off here is taking into account the size of the cell phone. Nice sort of rectangular rounded corner here square rounded corner, just straight up clean edge square, and then four by three rounded corner here. And there is a smaller, more indented stylized border here. Okay, there's one more 
border I want to show you guys. But before I do, I want to talk to you about kind of how I arrived there in the first place. I have been shooting eight millimeter on my Kodak 310 XL. I'm shooting these little eight millimeter cartridges, Kodak Vision 350D. And I love the natural border that comes with it. This is, if you ever scan eight millimeter film, this is what it looks like. But sometimes I like to have this image with clean edges. So it kind of reminded me of like Instagram film photographs and I wanted a white border around the eight millimeter footage so that it has that sort of same aesthetic and vibe. So I made this border. Here I am in a 1650 by 1080 comp and I'm using the eight millimeter white border. Let's take it off really quick so you can see. You can see that this uh, aspect ratio is a little wider than the four by three. I just like the space it's using. Um, if I was gonna post something on Instagram, I'd probably consider using a 1650 using this eight millimeter border and then throwing the four by three under here. So I just love the way it looks. It reminds me of the film photographs and uh, yeah, check it out. Okay, so that's a bonus border in there for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that. And go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any questions. If not, peace, enjoy. Okay, I quickly wanna mention that can you do this for free inside of DaVinci Resolve? Yes and no. Now, inside of DaVinci Resolve, they have something called output blanking. And if you click these, then it will give you the output blinking bars of what this aspect ratio would be. So for example, if we click two, three, five, it'll do something like that. Now, um, I think that they could be better. So that's why I made my own options. And they're also like different. If all you're looking for is bars, then you could definitely use the output blinking option. But if you're looking for something, like I mentioned, quick, easy to use, and stylized that look interesting, then uh, this would be your option. But please feel free to use the free ones if that's what you're looking for. If you're someone that already purchased the Film Borders update and you're wondering, do I have to pay again? No, you do not. All updates are free. So just go ahead and re-download the update and you're good to go. It's an O lizard. And a O lizard. Wait. Oh, lizard. Got an old lizard. Nice.